Ground to the right side. Two is left. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. It's times like these that I wish we were paid by the inning. The game seemed endless, but the fireworks in the top of the 15th Man, were enough to decide it. And they hang on. Now from City Field in Flushing, New York, we welcome you to another edition of baseball. Digging in, Sean. Kinsler and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. This one's flared toward left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now look at the screen here, okay? That ball is inside off the zone, inside off the plate, and he still was able to pull his hands inside and get a base hit. Batting fifth. Stepping up now, Roberto, Roberto Montagnes. Montagnes. He enters play, hitting down in the 240s for the year. And now they've got him picked off. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. And he can't get back in time, and he is... Digging in, Garrett Corona. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Hit out towards second. Kinsler has it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Over for one here shortstop. in the early going. Orlando Arcia. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. That's a nice controlled two-strike approach. You cut your swing down, and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Digging in for his second at-bat, no Sean Kinsler, as he'll look Sean to bring home that tying Kinsler. run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing and one. Oh, one here's the pitch now a ball lined to the left side foul swung on in the dirt strike three and that ends the inning. Striding in, Sean Kinsler. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Kinsler. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Cisneros going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Standing in, Roberto Montañez. No hits in two Roberto trips to the plate for Montagnez. him in the ball game. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Pitch taken for ball four. The throw, not nearly in time as he takes third easily. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Settling in now, Frank now Slinger, and his guys are looking to erase Frank that donut Slinger. on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. So he got him swinging. Frank Slinger is the second out in the seventh now inning. Catcher. Stepping Alejandro up to the plate, Alejandro Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reyna ranging into shallow right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Phillies leave it's a couple. The they trail things here strike. two to nothing. Stepping in, Sean now Kinsler. Batting. Two for Second three with a double on his line Sean so far. Kinsler.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch out. Nothing doing. One oh count. Here it is. Chopped weakly to the left. Fielded cleanly. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Well, that's his third hit of the game, and I know infield single, but he doesn't care. Man, three hits in a ball game, he'll take it. So coming to the plate, Roberto Montañez. Over two with a walk Roberto for him so far. Montagnier. Runners on the move for second. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. Kinsler rounds third and is striding for home. And the go ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three to two. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Doug Estrada gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Emilio. Our final line score this afternoon. And it would appear we'll see a pinch hitter here as he'll try to get something started with the bases empty and two away. Now batting, second baseman, Sean. Kinsley. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. And it's a pick me up off the bench. He's in there with a two out double. Great job of hitting. So many people think you get a first pitch fastball, you have to pull it. No, a great swing is hitting the ball back up the middle. Now batting, third baseman, Frank Slinger. Runner breaks for third. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Five to two, the final today. Johnny Finney earns. City of Brotherly Love. MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Sent on the ground out to second, and that's through for a hit. Man, that's a nice at bat. Found himself down 0 and 2, and he just. Stepping into the box, Not Gerald Asulin. And as you check out his righty Gerald lefty splits, Asulin. no surprise that he hits better against southpaws Eight. than he does against right handers. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three game winning streak. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. Nope. You got to have a short term memory, and you really do. The game's over, you can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Two and two count. Here it comes. And this will miss down low in the dirt. So he's worked it full now at three and two. Here it comes. 
Hit hard back up the middle. Oh, what a stop. He goes to first. He is out. Striding into the box, Tim Mays. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Drilled to the left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. At the plate, Jose Castillo. And he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. And a dive, but he's back in. First pitch on its way. And he just misses with a curveball. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Outside, 3 0 now. Steve. Calero waits on deck. Hey. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Runners on first with one down. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk. And there's no doubt that he's fighting himself Steve right now. See if Calero. he can get this train back on the rails here. Steve Calero comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Here comes the 1-0. Oh. Curveball that time, not even close. This is where you really got to focus with runners on base. You got a 2 0 count. You have a tendency to get a little anxious thinking you can drive somebody in. Stay focused. Get your pitch. There's a strike. It's 2 and 1. First and second now, one man out. Now, this is hit not all that hard out to second. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. And now a moment to show you the lineup for Atlanta in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, this is a hitter's ballpark. I mean, you hit the, the, the ground ball, it's going to go through because the infield is fast, but it's the ball up in the zone. If you touch it, it's going to carry. So why not be aggressive? Look for that ball up and let it fly. Well, Matt, I'm looking at his high pitch count here in the first inning. They've done a great job of being patient and making him work. The key here, keep that pitch count up, and maybe you'll get in that bullpen. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Down the first baseline. Hobbs is up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is. In now, Franklin Raider. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. H, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, they've been a little up and down on this road trip, a little inconsistent, but two and two is not bad, better than being 0 and 4. They win this game today, though, and it really kind of turns the tide for them a bit. Hold strike on the change, two and one. Love the. The pitch call there, 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Two out, nobody on. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Well, they got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change up, follow up with the fastball, and he's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change up. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The 2 2 one more time. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Phillies down in order. 
They're down two to nothing. So digging in now, Marcus Thompson. Marcus He's ready. Here's the first Thompson. offering. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And now a pitch on the way. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul. Right at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit out towards second. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. That's a nice controlled two strike approach. You cut your swing down and all you want to do is see the ball and hit it. Center fielder number 32. Standing Eduardo in now Eduardo Castilla. Castilla. Check his got? swing there. Did he go around. No says the first base umpire ball one. A ball and no strikes here it is. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. Raider is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat. Doug Conway. Doug Conway. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Digging in to try it again. Gerald Asulin. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's going to get back on track out there, the fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off of that. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh and two here it is. Again a curveball that started low and broke lower ball one. Those O2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count but he did well to spit on it there. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set here's the two two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit hard towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. In to score the runner from third. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. That makes it a four nothing ball game. Striding in once again. Tim Mays. Shortstop. Tim Mays. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. Well, he's got a high pitch count, and we're only in the second inning. Things are definitely not going his way. They're really making him work right now. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Here he is, falling behind another hitter, 2 and 0 oh count. You continue to put him in hitter's counts, you're going to continue to get burned. As a look, now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. 
hit hard toward the right side and this continues right on through him as he couldn't knock it down. Asulin round the plate throws there and he's dead at home plate. So it's two runs on four base hits. Stepping in, Sean Kinsler. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Sean Fulton. High. Deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo shot here to left. Number 17 for him on the season. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Yeah, this is what I would call one of those good news, bad news scenarios. The good news is that he didn't have to face the cleanup man in the first inning. The bad news is he let off the second inning and absolutely destroyed that ball for a home run. Trying to pick things up where we left off. 15, Sean Kinsler. Sean Kinsler. First pitch on its way. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for Leading another shot, Sean Kinsler. Second He'll try and do what he can Sean to work toward cutting Kinsler. into this big deficit. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. The 0 1 pitch. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Another 0 2 home. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is fouled at the plate. That was the fourth foul ball in this at bat. He is really making him work. Now another 1 2. Chopped weakly to the left. Shimchak fields it cleanly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Digging in once again, Jose Castillo. A couple of walks Second for him thus far. Jose Castillo. Right side. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. When you're struggling, you'll look for anything. Then off to a little bit of a. Ready for another chance. So Sean Kinsler. Second baseman. First pitch of the at Sean bat on its way. Kinsler. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Castilla going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Arias is on his way home. And the run is in to score from second. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three run homer written all over it, but it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. First baseman, Thomas. On the ground to third, Shimchak over to his left, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. Ready once again. Frank Slinger. He singled in two Third trips to the plate thus far. Frank Slinger. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Swing and a little blooper to center. Castilla coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. And even with two away now, that ball just didn't get out there deep enough, so they'll hold him at third base. At the now plate, buddy. Craig center Sanders. Fielder. Craig Sanders. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strike. Now batting, right fielder, Josh Malloy. Grounded to short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. 
Well, sometimes you make the perfect pitch and you still give up a base hit. That ball's down. 12-5 is the final in this ball game. Atlanta get the win after hanging out 16 total hits. Marcus Thompson earns his the sixth winning decision. In MLB The Show had baseball for you under the lights at Citizens Bank Park. Batting fourth, shortstop, Tim Mays. Ready with the 0-1. Chopped weakly to the left. Reined in. And indeed, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Digging in, Jose Castillo hitting just a Second bit over the Mendoza line Jose on the year. Castillo. The 0 2 pitch. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Comes up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Braves will settle for just the one. Coming to the plate now, Sean Kinsler, a real threat with the bat, Second currently the National League Sean home run leader. Kinsler. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Braves. And today's starters lead the National League in strikeouts. Now very difficult. Now at the plate, Gerald Asulin. First baseman, Gerald Asulin. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a pitch down that swung up. Second base. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Braves strand one, but they're up one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Tim Mays. He's all for one thus far. Tim Mays. Grounded to the right. Kinsler is right. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Well executed. Now with the plate, Sean Kinsler, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. Line drive to center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the tying run is in to score from third. Ready for another shot now. Sean Kinsler. He hit a sack fly earlier. Sean Kinsler. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. I'm sitting here shaking my head. I'm tripping, man. I mean, I've never watched a guy throw this many strikes. First pitch strike. He's 100% in the game. Every and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And standing in, Jose Castillo. Our pitcher's Second duel continues here. Two Jose to one score as we play the Castillo. eighth. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Stepping in, Sean Kinsler. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. Sean Kinsler. This one's down to third. Shimchak takes it in. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Kevin Aguilar wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Emilio. So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts the to get loose 15, out there. Second baseman, Sean Kinsler. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. They'll come in here at 259, seven.
19 home runs and 48 driven in. The 0 1 on its way lifts it into the air to shallow center. Mesa is in pursuit and a diving effort in center, but he can't get a glove on it. And he'll pull into second with one away. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on? Got to take it one good at bat at a time center fielder number four Pete Lattimore a oh, big uppercut there as he popped this straight up Shimche is there and he makes the catch for the second out pitching certainly has been on display in this one and there's the evidence of it right there one nothing our score as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. The batter number double zero shortstop Johnny Arias pitch swung on and hit in the air Mesa is after it he tracks it down and that will end the inning Your Francisco it was mostly pitching and defense in this one but the man you see here made some noise with the bat and as a result he's our top player of the game well what your one hit of the game is a home run. for baseball on the show from the bank Citizens Bank Park in in is Christian Yelich he appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest Christian Yelich. on the ground is short this could be there's one on to first and they get the double play So coming to the plate, Leading Sean Kinsler, and you can the see his home up. road splits Sean there. He has Kinsler. not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Calling for it, Conroy. One away. Well, let's take a look at the Buckles defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Christian Yellis, the smooth strider. He can go get the ball. Runs so graceful. It looks like he's effortless and he's not really running as fast as he actually is, but the guy can go get him. Stepping in and ready for another now shot. Batting. Sean Kinsler. 0 for 1 Sean for him here in this Kinsler. one. Shot on the ground is short. Morella is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors in a man. Ready once again, Sean Kinsler. It's been an 0 for 2 effort Sean for him to this Kinsler. point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. Comes to the plate with the runner in scoring position. He swung at that first pitch early. Kind of ambushed him. I don't think the pitcher expected him to swing at that first pitch. Ready for another chance. Thomas Hobbs. He started out the evening 0 for 2 Thomas. so far. 
Hobbs. Hit on the ground to third. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. When you're struggling, you'll look for anything. Been off to a little bit of a cold streak. He didn't hit it hard, but that's a big one to build on. Digging in to try it again. Frank Slinger. He's 0 Third for 2 baseman. thus far in this one. Frank Slinger. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Grounded to third. This could be two. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Digging in once again. Sean Kinsler. The shortstop. Sean Kinsler. Hard ground ball to third. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning. Ready for another shot first now. Number Sam Callaway. He singled Callaway. earlier, making him one for two to this point. The short hit hard. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. That line drive base hit, now it brings the tie and run of the plate. You know Matt Dale's talk about a bloop and a blast? Maybe. Well, that's why you pay the closer big money, so he can come slam the door quickly when he has to. Two pitches, one out, and that game's Our on ice. Line.